A new and small study is shedding light on how children are doing months after being diagnosed with a rare inflammatory syndrome linked to COVID-19. Researchers studied hospital records from 46 children with multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, or MIS-C, last year. They found that six months later, most of the children's inflammation and significant neurological symptoms had been resolved. Small abnormalities were found in neurological exams in 18 of the kids, but they experienced little difficulty walking or carrying out everyday tasks. The study authors say the children were all hospitalized with more severe cases of Miss C and more research is needed to determine if the findings apply to all patients. A new study reveals a rise in calls to poison control centers involving a marijuana product. Researchers analyzed the more than 28,000 marijuana exposure calls to the National Poison Data System between 2017 and 2019. They found marijuana plant material was the most commonly reported exposure, but more than a third of exposures in children involved edibles. The most serious outcomes involved exposures to vaporized marijuana. Engineers at Google have developed a tool the company says can identify skin, hair, and nail conditions. Here's how it works. Take three photos from different angles of your problem area, then answer a few questions the tool will ask, and an artificial intelligence algorithm will provide a likely diagnosis. Google hopes to launch a pilot of the tool later this year, and of course, you're always advised to see a real healthcare professional if you have a serious concern. Dishes breaking and causing burns is prompting a recall at IKEA. We've got those details next.